Welcome back to Eye in the Sky Drones. Today we're covering the Mavic Air 2. You already have a Mavic Air 1? Are you interested? Interested in a Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Zoom? We'll go over, over that a little bit today. So if you're on my channel, it's quite possible you're interested in drones. You may already have a Mavic Mini, a Mavic Air, a Mavic Pro. The question is, if you have a Mavic Air, Will you be getting the Mavic Air 2? Or would you take it a step up? Maybe get a Mavic 2 Zoom. So that's something we're going to take a look at today. Right now, the release date for the Mavic Air 2, um, 9.30 p.m. April 27th, they're going to be giving out information on the release of the Mavic Air 2. If you already have a Mavic Air 1, will it be worth the upgrade? Well, some of the information they're talking about for the Mavic Air 2, I think it's going to be worth it. Um, just for the simple fact, it's going to look a lot like this guy, but it's going to be smaller. But that's not the biggest reason for the upgrade. The biggest reason for the upgrade, longer flight time, and also OcuSync. OcuSync is going to be a game changer for the Mavic Air. One thing that I noticed with my Mavic Air, um, Wi-Fi connection is good, but I'm out in a suburban area or a city area, I'm not getting more than 2,000 feet. Even, I know a lot of people say that's beyond visual line of sight, but you really should be able to fly your drone. Say I'm not in the States. I want to fly my drone a mile away. Um, I could probably get that in good conditions with the Mavic Air, but with the Mavic Air 2 OcuSync, it's going to be a breeze. Um, this has been my buddy. I've had it for a while. Um, it's been through thick and thin. I even added some master air screw propellers on the top, the low noise ones, just to make it better. I take this with me if I don't want to lose this one. But should that be a reason for the upgrade? Um, with the Mavic Air 2, let's go over a little bit about what's been reported so far with the Mavic Air 2. The price is going to be cheaper. $7.99 for the Mavic Air 2. Right now, um, that's about $120 less. Um, when the Mavic Air came out, it was quite, quite the price. Um, they're also talking about um, having that, I hope I don't mess this up, ADBS. Well, anyway, it's the radio waves to let planes and helicopters know that you're in the area. You'll get a warning if they have the receiver in their thing. And their and their um their flight their their vehicle to let them know to let you know that they're there and you'll get something to let them know that you're there. Um, longer flight times, 34 minutes to be exact. That's a heck of a lot more time than the 21 minutes that's found on the Mavic Air. Mavic Air 21 minutes, so I say when my batteries were new, I was roughly getting 17, 18 minutes. Now I'm down to about 16 minutes. That's about after two years with the Mavic. Um, Mavic Air. This guy, 31 minutes. So I'm getting about 26, 27 minutes. The Mavic Air 2 is claiming 34 minutes. So we definitely have to see what that's about. Camera quality, we don't know if the Mavic Air 2 will shoot in 4K 60 frames per second, but we got our fingers crossed. Um, and we don't know if they will have a zoom or not. The camera sensor is bigger than the one on the Mavic Air, which is a plus. That's great. Um, the Mavic Air all the Mavic Air shoots great video, solid quality. You don't have to tap the focus. Um, so the videos come out real crisp and smooth. The Mavic 2 Zoom, um, the video is great on this guy. Um, you can see. You can zoom in, which is a plus, but you also can you can also tap the focus. Um, a lot of ver variability with this drone. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with it, get a lot of cool clips, get a lot of extras. It's a great drone. So the question is, should you go from a Mavic Air or a Mavic Mini to a Mavic Air 2? Or should you skip um, straight to the big boys. A lot of people say 
Well, why don't I wait for the Mavic 3? Who knows when it's coming? Some people say June. Um, if you look at previous releases, that June date can push back to August, September, October. You don't know when it's coming. If you have a need for a drone, um, should you get the Mavic Air 2? That's the kind of question we're looking at. The so I know a lot of people have a lot of special guests that they bring in just to kind of talk about drones. Well, I don't have an expert or someone in the drone community to come in, but I have the focal point of a lot of my shots. This person is in almost a ton of my drone footage, and she's reviewed a lot of it, so she knows between the Mavic Air and the Mavic 2 Zoom which drone she likes the best, because she's always getting filmed by them. Let me introduce my daughter. Come on out here, baby, and just tell us a little bit about which drone you like and which drone you think the um, people should get. I think you should get the Mavic 2. I think that's what it's called. It really goes fast. I like the color of it. It's gray, and it is bigger, and I think it has more minutes than the other drone. Okay, there you go, straight from the horse's mouth. She know, she doesn't know a lot about drones. She's starting to learn how to fly. We flew a tello for a little bit. Um, but she's def definitely an enthusiast. Daddy films her, films her and her friends, makes little videos for the family. So she knows what she likes. And she likes the Mavic 2. She hasn't seen the Mavic Air 2 yet. That may be one of her favorites, but we'll definitely see. All right. As I said, be safe and have fun flying.